Hi guys, welcome to Entity Framework 6 using MVC. Um, so we, are, we, we were able, to, from our last video, we were able to create uh, a new student. Okay. Now I want to actually implement details and edit, like if I want to update a record, how do you update a record uh, in Entity Framework, uh, in actually MVC using Entity Framework. So. I want to actually update a record or edit uh, or show details. First of all, I want to, let me let's implement update this update a row how to update a record. Okay, so I'm going to come here. I'm going to go to the index. I want to add updates. Right, updates this record. Okay, I want to add this guy. Update this record. I'm going to change this now to update. Okay, I'm going to change this. So if you hover over this, you're going to see this is the text. Okay, and the first one is the text, like the text link text. Second one is action name. So which action are you trying to do to go to? For us, we want to go to update student. Okay, I want to go to this record. Okay, so we're going to create this in the in the controller right now. Okay, and we want to pass in an ID. Okay, and this ID is going to be an integer. So automatically, when we click click this, it's going to post it's going to post this ID to our new method that we're going to write in the controller very very soon. But for now, I just want to see how it looks like here. Okay, so now we see that we have update right here, right? Let's go ahead and implement update first. That's I like I like to do that first. Okay, uh, just give this a little bit of space here. Okay, so I'm going to implement this one. Okay, in the controller, home controller, it's still running, so I need to stop this before we can implement it. Okay, so. Um, public action result action result create to stu update student uh, it's an int it takes an integer of ID now this has to be exactly as it is in the view otherwise uh, you probably will not you probably will not have it posted here correctly okay so I'm just we're gonna return redirect as soon as you update the record I want you to redirect to redirect to the index page okay no no no, no. sorry sorry not that um, so I want you to actually uh, so just like before um, we have we're gonna have same thing return a view first so we're gonna create this view for updating the student record okay okay so when we create a view uh, we need to take a student record here as well just like before so basically let's just make copy this one and then make return this model so I'm gonna return this model okay but right now we need to get the record in database for this student only only for this student we need to get the record from database because is this student we're trying to update so we're trying to get the record from this student only so we're going to try to get a record but before we do that we need to use the uh, instance of the database we need to create an instance of the database just like we always do before i'm just going to copy it from here okay I'm trying to finish this this particular episode in 10 minutes I hope I hope I haven't exceeded 10 minutes or not getting close to 10 minutes okay so we have this DB right now so I'm gonna do vast stu student student okay from the database and then I'm gonna do DB the first or default no sorry DB dot student student dot first or default 
okay so now this is link statements link query uh, I don't know if some of you don't know link query or if some of you that if you already know link query just follow along if you don't know link query it's very simple so in here I'm just gonna do a lambda expression X going to X dot as once I do dot I'm gonna see everything in this table so this is lambda expression uh, lambda expression um, link query helps us to actually query database um, using this first or default or first or where so I want dot ID so student ID where it is equal to this ID that we're passing in and then that's it so I'm trying to get from, from this table I'm trying to get the the row where the student ID is equal to the student that we're passing in that means we get a particular row now right okay so when we get a particular row now I need to map it back so we need to map back so luckily for us I think we already have this mapped here I don't want to waste too much of time so I'm just gonna copy this here okay I'm just gonna copy that we have it mapped already actually let's do this if student is not null so it's always nice to check it do this little check this checks this null checks sometimes if you try to map some map when it's null it's gonna actually show exceptions right so you need to do this checks okay so we're mapping it back to this place and then when that is not null we want to redirect we want to redirect to the action right here redirect redirect to action okay. no 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 so we don't want to redirect to action sorry I'm sorry we want to return to the view we want to return the, the user to the view so that we can actually see these values right okay so that is that now we need to actually create a post action right like post like this we need to create a post action like this okay so it's gonna post the values same like this okay it's gonna be like exactly like this but this time around we're actually updating the value so I'm just gonna copy this one just to save my save us time okay I'm gonna copy this one right here and change this to update student okay update student all right okay so we have this one now I'm going to right click this guy add view okay add view student I need I need it to be uh, edit Okay, so it's gonna be, it has to be edit, edit, edit one. We're gonna add a model, student model. Okay, and then we we'll create this this view. Okay. Okay, so that is that, and then same thing here. Begin form. We need to uh, maybe just copy from this create that we just did so we just copy from here these values put here well this one here is going to be update student so instead of create update student okay so let's give that is not all we have to do now because we are actually updating this one here is not going to be add it is going to be it's gonna be an an edit, right? It's gonna has to be edit. Dot entry. Dot entry. Okay. So now you now have to pass the student. Oh, I'm sorry, not this one. Yeah, you have to pass the student. Yeah, student that you're trying to update. So I'm updating. Dot. Dot state okay is equals to entity state dot modified okay 
so because we are updating it I need to modify it we need to say it's modified right so we save this and then we